Even, uh, oh my gosh, that's a brain response. Test, it? Yes. Okay. Yay! No. So, no. Uh, you could have this memorized, but the uh, converter is times pi over 180. Yeah, do you guys remember no. pi is worth 180? This is like the first lesson in the chapter, but uh, you divide out the degrees and you multiply in the radians. Because it's like a rock shield. Uh, yeah, if you do that, it would give it to you. We want like the fraction answer. I can do this by hand if I divide both of these by 90. That's 3 and 2. At this point, you guys might remember that answer. Did you guys remember 270 was 1 Is it 3 by over 2? Yeah. I, I did not. Hey, it's right there. See? Remember 270? Uh, if it wants to do like radius to degrees, is it that 180 over 5? Yeah, if you go, yeah, if it's radius to degrees, you do the exact opposite. So you divide out the radians and you multiply in the degrees. I remember this now. She's. What's she doing? I think she's doing letters. I thought she was getting exposed. Well, she just says for just a minute. Did it, a minute change into a letter injecting? Yes. <laughs> so she's not getting exposed? Probably is still, yeah. But we want to sell her jacket first. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> I go <dope> first. <laughs> you're way. not allowed to come to school here anymore, but you have to pay for a four hundred dollar jacket. Priorities. It's such a rip off. Is it really four hundred dollars? I got a lot of junk. No, like I got I got a lot of junk on mine, and mine is like two eighty, two eighty five, I think. It's not too cool. Okay. okay. They used to be free. Did they get cheaper? Uh -huh. No, they used to be free. So yeah, if you played sports. What the nut? Oh, I thought you said they used to be three, isn't three? Why don't we get it for free? Because uh, like they can make money. Guys, on B, you're supposed to change your you're supposed to change your answer to decimal. It says round to the hundredths place. So you can use the same converters because it's degrees. Oh, that reminds me. Degrees to radians. Well, on your calculator, you can just hit the S for D S D button. You know what I'm saying? Oh, times yeah, pi over 180. On which one? No. Are we still on for B. B. Yeah. Do I have to make the account? Yeah. I think you have to be like 15. Nah, you can just be like. Are you not 15? <laughs> 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 have you guys done B already? Because we're about to do two. Yeah. What? Back? It's the nearest hundred. Yeah, the hundredth oh. place is the second decimal place. No, I just need to have a debit card. What do you learn in seventh grade math? Yeah. I have a debit card. Um, and then you can get it's like the free. last time you did everything by hand. Okay. So it was mostly with you, but you can can start doing algebra also. also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we did a big and geometry chapter that was yeah. pretty hard. I don't want to get it anymore. But I'm Why? Oh, are you going to teach a seventh grader? Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, that mom. I was going to teach a third grader. How you you no, third graders are the best. Do we have to change our calculator? Well, I know what multiple. Do you remember how to like divide that. fractions by hand and that kind of stuff? I do. Like divide that. Like short division. By hand. I don't know where they're at. But. Why is she bad? Well, it's probably long division. She's bad, man. Like, hey, I'm gonna introduce you to this. No. Okay. Do you still use more than you use Bad tutor. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, you use. So, yeah, guys, on number two, go ahead and do that if you haven't yet. You want to divide out the radians and multiply in the degrees. So, this is the converter from radians to degrees. Oh, so number it's two. Like opposite. It's the opposite, yes. Oh, you guys are doing that. How do you do that? Uh, you divide out the radians, multiply in the degrees. So this is the. Do you have to have that memorized for, for Thursday? Probably, yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. I got big numbers. What'd you get, Josh? I don't think we have a lot to memorize. I got eleven thousand. This chapter. Did you make sure you change it to big numbers and not radians? Like on your. Oh 
So on two, yeah, on two you need to change your calculator to radians first if you have it. Josh, what'd you get? Give me 7.6 seconds. Well, mine is on radians. Me is not. But well, I, I guess the first one works somewhere. Point two. Yeah. Did somebody get 300 on two? Yes. No. What the fuck? No, mine's in radians. No, it's supposed to be radians. I left it. The ones before were supposed to be radians. This one's supposed to be three. What'd you put for five? Well, that's what I had. I think it's going to work both ways in this case. Why right? Rachel? Mine, I'm still getting 11,000. Okay, he's definitely so, okay, okay. <laughs> not like it. Like so, I got a one more 3.2. So, so you have to do the math for that. Yeah. So, if you want to get rid of the radians, it's in the divisor because you're dividing it away. And then the degrees are on top. Or vice versa. If you want to get rid of the degrees, degrees are on bottom. Uh, so this is one A. The converter, this thing right here, pi over one A. When you multiply by this, it divides out the degrees and changes it to radians. Um, on one A, we're supposed to leave it in pi form. On B, you're supposed to change it to a decimal. Like okay, why does the two say give the This is for number two. If you want to change it from radians to degrees, oh, do we not do one? you divide out the radians and multiply the degrees. Wait, what country? Remember how these two are the same thing? <laughs> so when you multiply by this, it keeps the same value, but not in a it just no. gets rid of the radians and turns it into degrees. Wait, I can look that. Alright, give us two weeks and give the answer to the nearest 10 minutes. What's on in my uh, I don't care about the minutes thing, so we can just do the two or three. Uh, we did a couple problems with it. You know, one of the days, but a minute is like one sixtieth of a degree. You know how to change off? Shush. No. Shush. At least it wasn't as bad as Daniel. You used him once and then kicked him to the curb. What? What number is one? Are you talking about? Oh, yeah. I don't know. You want me to do seven? Are we on one or two? Oh. <laughs> I know you're seven and two. What? One, two, three, four. You have better sledge powers. The stupid player can press you. Two. Bye. She about to die? I think there was a she prediction that she was going to die. Yeah. Queen Elizabeth. Like yeah. She was in like an assassin. I don't know. That's real unfortunate. Yeah. Um, you got to prep the ship. So you kind of get the idea of the cost of the time. The, 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 <laughs> the dude predicted uh, on well, October 18th, Queen yeah. Elizabeth was going to die. I don't know how he came back into it. Oh, it was like a Nostradamus kind of thing. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he just made her an fiction and helped you with that. If he's right, he's right, then you're gonna arrest him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to see if you're right. I don't want to go that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's got to go. Like, she 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 she's lived a long, long <laughs> life. You know? <laughs> that would be the truth. She's only lived in the dinosaur. She's not dead yet. To be honest, like, if she has to die, now would be like, you get another. That poor guy, his whole life. Just throw her in the 
<laughs> but it's for the meme. From now on, we have to make like make it a meme predicting every single day. Yeah, every round. We had to make a prediction about everyone's death. Yeah. You know how dark that is. No, just keep doing the queen. We just everybody make different predictions on different days. Somebody's gonna go. No, we're talking about like really hot. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of like screwed up. All right, number three. Did it reach the news? All right. Um, yeah, find two angles, one positive, one negative. You guys remember doing this? That are coterminal with each given angle. So <laughs> how can we turn negative 200 degrees into a positive angle? You remember this? No. I mean, this. No, you have to like subtract 180. Well, like, turn, not 180. 360. 360 gets you all the way around to the same spot, right? That's what coterminal means. It oh. means it stops at the same spot. So, yeah, if you add 360, it'll stop at the same spot. If you subtract 360, it would stop at the same spot. So one you gotta add and one you gotta subtract. Yeah. So negative 200 plus 360. Well, don't you just have to find a negative That's one and a positive one? Yeah, you have to find one positive, one negative. So if you add 360, you get 160. And if you subtract 360, you get negative 560. On C, what should we do? Wait, you don't get negative. If you subtract, you get a negative. And if you add, you, you do get a positive. Five. One, if you add, you get one six. Yes. Like, do it what with pi, like that circle, like go back. So instead of adding 360 on C, what are we going to do? 2 pi. Add 2 pi, or subtract 2 pi, one of the two. Can you do this on your calculator too? Yeah, your calculator can handle it. On, on D, um, oh, it's ten. Is it it's ten. It's ten sixtieths. Oh. It's called a minute. It's ten minutes, so it means ten sixtieths. So you could just do like one forty-two and one sixth plus three sixty. One forty-two and one sixth minus three sixty. So on C, you add and subtract. Yes, yes, I did. Uh, 10 minutes means 10 sixtieths of a degree. So you could like put it in as a mixed number, like 10 sixtieths. Is this supposed to be in degrees or radians? Does it matter? A and B and C, D, those are all degrees, and C is radians. Yeah, it doesn't. No, it doesn't matter. The only, actually, the only time you need degrees and radians is when we're doing the sine cosine stuff because it would read it differently but for this stuff it, it will it doesn't matter so for C, you just add 2 pi to that and then 10 over 60 right? yeah okay. I'm so confused right now I don't know what you're going to do have you seen that movie? is it just like Brady 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 what? have you seen that movie? No, I don't know what you're talking about because I'm trying to do this well, so sorry. I don't understand. Brady took a day off to play video games. <laughs> did he really? He got it. No. He did. He's exhausted uh, from all that not doing stuff. But is it? And, um, not doing anything can be very tiring. <laughs> he did not need to break it. Can we the answers? Yes. Yeah. You'll probably watch this video. Yeah. Can we go over the answers on these? No, he's actually a person. What on earth are you doing? Where's the. I got A because you already did that. So. Are you doing all these with us? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 But I don't understand uh, what you're talking about. Kind of. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really. I mean, like, you have to be for us. Yeah. Uh, I would do the odds, but every problem is different, so I kind of can't. What? What did you say to do on C? C is pi, so that's radians. So instead of 360, what should you add? No. What's the same in radians? What's the same as 360? 2 pi. So you just add 2 pi or subtract 2 pi. I think my brother knows that. I think my brother knows that. 
Are we supposed to write down the decimal part? No, that's middle scores. No, it's on the like the letter you were in there right now, so they're in there. So yeah, I'm seventeen pi over six. What are they doing? I don't know. Goof it off. It should be in your body. What's <laughs> study hall is in there? Is it their study hall? Um, because it's not there. Okay. 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 Uh, I thought they So I am tired of the massage and heat. What? This is one so of the What would you say? Massage and heat. Massage and heat. You want to massage my knee? No, I'm actually just trying to get laid. Like. <laughs> I can help with that. Yeah, there's. They wanted you to use a table. Yes, you want my cousin? There's no way. There's camel? No way. I've got to say, dude, to me, I got to say. So, I was using the picture. You good? Cut the job. I got 502.2 and negative 217.8. Josh. Okay, so I did that. I'm going to put it here. 502.2 and what? Josh. Yeah, Josh, did you get negative two seventeen point eight in your salary? My daughter? Yes. I wanted to take a meeting there. How many books? I mean, yes. I mean <laughs> my daughter's a dude. What's Josh's? Y'all hear that? <laughs> Matthew heard it. I did. I didn't know one else. I thought it was pretty loud. No, I heard it. I heard it. Oh. I heard it. All heard it and just ignored it. Yeah, we were just gonna spin. Here. You wouldn't. No. You had to notice it. What you rated? It's a little bit like kind of weird. Okay. What? What about this? Shark. Shark. Oh, crunch. Can I get the rest? Too late. Yeah. 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 Brady especially. <laughs> I thought his that specialty was calculated. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Oh. Okay, number four. Wait, this, um, okay. I will probably be nice and give yeah. you number four, Josh. That's not working. Not Josh, actually. Everybody knows. Well, it's not okay. Good. A sector of a circle has a radius of five. So, let's draw a pretty picture here. The sector of a circle has a radius of five, so we'll be right there. Um, central angle is 48, find its approximate arc length and area. Okay, arc length, they usually use an S for that. Do you guys, Remember it? Yes. No. Somebody besides Josh, maybe? I can't remember. Okay, the arc length is a fraction of the what? The circumference. Circumference. What's the formula for the circumference of a circle? Uh, 2 pi squared. No. Pi or pi. No, that's two area. 2 pi squared. 2 r pi. That's what I said. Is it? That's what I said. That's what nobody said. Do you have to so that's for the circumference. Yes, actually yeah. this one is, I think it, uh, I'm pretty sure it's on the ACT, some of them probably, yeah. but what? Don't they give you the formula? Or the, just the some formulas formula. they do and some they don't, so uh, I don't, I don't know about this one, actually I'll have to, I might have to look that one up. Um, so anyway, this is the whole, so this will give us all the circumference, but we're not using the whole circle. What fraction of the circle are we using? That bit. S over 48. Wait. Okay. We're using 48 out of how much? 360. 360. So you just multiply that by 48 over 360. Okay. I... I will give you guys this formula. This is the formula right here. If you're in radius, if you're in degrees. How do you plug this? Circumference times the fraction of the circle. You said you give it the formula. I will give you the formula for this. Uh -huh. There's multiple formulas, but. Thank you. This is a lot of. Q R I. 
Wait, so we're I said I'd give like it to you. <laughs> I mean, two and five. I know, but... Yeah, you're... five is the radius, so you, you do, do two times five, times five, times four, you do over 360. I'm trying, Josh. Apply harder. <laughs> Apply harder? <laughs> I was like the third one in the world. Yeah, yeah. Okay, not actually, but I was early. Yeah. Wait, how did you get a third? Girl something. Yeah, Trey was here way before the lottery. Yeah. You know who wasn't here all the time? David? Rachel? I'm shocked. Are you driving yourself or? Well, I just missed the whole So you can't use your mom's excuse anymore. I'm talking about yeah. She's still late most of the time. Runs in the family. All right. Um. So we're also supposed to find that. Did you guys do that already? Yeah. I got four. What did that find? Just that was the arc link. That was the arc link. Okay, just put two times five times mm -hmm. five times 40 over 360. We have the same time. You don't know where the fraction button is? Is that what you're saying? Or where pi is or what? Just everything. Well, this is about my It's one of the best ones I'm skipping. I can pick it out, but the answer... Well, I'm not going to say that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So how can we find the sector area? How do we find the sector area? You multiply the uh sector area by it's pi r squared by... Oh wait, it's the circumference one. No. The sector area is a fraction of the circle area. So what's the circle's area? Two what's pi? Oh, pi r squared. Pi r squared. What fraction of the circle are we using? Uh, All of it. Thirds. Theta over 360, right? In this case, it was 48 over 360. So anyway, this would be the formula. 48 is the angle, is the theta. 5 is still the radius. So this would give you the sector area. The 5 and over 3 5. Yeah. It is it's, so it's honestly just the formula. I guess you He's getting it to the Are we allowed to use a pig and go to the ACT? No. <laughs> you know how awesome is it open to you? Open to you'll go to jail. Yo, you know what they do if you take it online? They give you dead lips. Or is this for five? It's like, like, oh, I know that's gross. I don't like that. Like it. It's number four. You don't like it? I don't like it. It's a graphic headline. It's online and it's easier to use. Yeah, I had to use it like all year last year and I did not like it. Desmos is this calculator website, and I had to use it a lot for homeschool last year, and I didn't like it. What are we supposed to use for pay again? I, I'm just it's probably that. easier than TIA3 is what you're saying, right? Wait, wait, yeah, I think it is easier. Yeah, because you just plug in exactly the plan and have to go through a bunch of settings. I just like using an actual calculator, not using a little mouse pad. What are you supposed to use for pay? Just the degrees. Yeah, yeah. No, like always the degrees. Yes. Oh. Wait, what was, how did we get? Is the base. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. You want us to write this in radians, right? Like did you guys hear No, the they gave us degrees. Right? Oh, well. Like the arc like Dwayne Johnson is the arc. The arc length is oh, like 10 inches or something. It's not that big. And this is. Four where you did it in the sun or is it? It's like a feature. Which one is pretty good, though? The arc length. Is that first one the arc length? 
I know he says that we did that. Two, two R. Just, uh, we wouldn't put, well, probably wouldn't put pi in the answer on this one. And actually, the book didn't. So just hit the button that makes it turn your. Wait, I'm with you. And then what about the second You can go for SV above the delete button. Well, I never did the Casio before. Did you see he's well, reenacted him? No. Kind of like when they can't see him. You know, the one time he comes in like, this is so good. Which question do you return to work? Yeah. Why are you just rounding it? Uh, they round it to the tenth place. On both of them? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to call it the tenth If they don't tell you where to round it, you kind of just make it up. Okay. Number five. What does that mean, Joe Biden calls it? All right, we did not get to number five on the homework because we were struggling and then people were gone and it was just a mess. But um, it's basically, it's, I'll, I'll draw the picture. It's kind of like number four. The moon is about four times 10 to fifth kilometers from there. So we'll say this is the earth and this is the moon. And uh, this, is, this is us. Looking at the moon. You say the moon is the moon. Why? The moon is like a third, I think, of Earth. Like it's actually three, two six, but we're doing good counting. Okay, so it says we are four times ten to the fifth kilometers from the Earth. The apparent size of the moon is point zero eight so zero zero eight seven radians. So if they say 0 0.0087 radians, that is the, that's an angle measurement, right? Yes. So that would go right here. Are we supposed to draw this? No, you don't have to, I guess. Um, what is the moon's approximate diameter? So the diameter of the moon is basically going to be the same thing as the arc length right there. Okay, so... Yeah, like because you gotta imagine. The imagine there's a giant circle going around us. I like circles. And it appears like from one side of the moon to the other is yeah. like way less than one degree, basically. But that's how big the moon appears to us. Like it takes up a little less, less than a degree. Wait, so what? And this is how far we know we are from the moon. So we're saying, if we find the arc length right there. We can know how, what the diameter of the moon is. Okay, how do I find arc length? We did this one a minute ago. Two. The arc length is a fraction of the circumference. Two R five. Two R five. Times point zero zero eight seven. Okay. Times theta out of instead of theta over three sixty this time since they gave us radians. Oh, that's radians. Yes, I'm going to use 2 pi. What happens on the radians, the reason people might use radians is because it makes these formulas simpler. If you have the radians, you just do the radius times the radians to get the arc length. So basically, you going to change your calculator into radians? Uh, no, you only, you only have to do that when we get to like sine, tangent, and all that. And the radius is 4 times 10 to the 5th. The radius is 4 times 10 to the 5th. The uh, theta is 0 0.0087. That is exactly what it is. I got syntax there. It's you gotta close the uh, 30, numbers. 3, 4, 8. Yeah, you gotta use that. There you go. I got Maybe Wait, isn't it three, four, eight, zero? Yeah, 3,000. AC is go-to. Okay, I need to write all these formulas down so I can remember them. That is how that works, too. Sorry, that was true. I need them written down so I can speedy.
just point to yours. I want to go to Mars and smoke some jars of cigars. Oh, from well, cigars. Dumb. Make a button for one specific job. Oh There's eat. probably a way to make it work. I don't know <laughs> what it is. <laughs> And that would be Boys go to Mars to get more candy bars. Oh, yeah. Girls go to Jupiter to get more candy bars. Jupiter! Jupiter. <laughs> 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 Jupiter. 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 No, it's boys because go to college to get more knowledge. Yeah. Girls go to Jupiter to get, to get more stupid. Oh, wow. Well, my version was when I was in grade school, that's what we said. Chocolate bars. And then, of course, the girls said the same thing, but just switched it. Yeah, ours is better. Yeah. Ours blood easier. All right. Knowledge. <laughs> in <laughs> <and> knowledge. <laughs> I you wish they were really long to get more knowledge. Yeah, are you going to college to get more knowledge? Here? Yeah, I am actually. So I'm okay. going to college so to get more knowledge. You're going to get more knowledge. Is this your sister watching this video? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Shannon, you can come after you graduate. Okay. <laughs> Where on the triangle would this negative one go? I'm doing six. It eight. goes on the top left. Okay, negative one is the what value? Three pi over shh, shh. four. Negative one is the what value? That's uh, X. X. So where would X go on this? Back left? Yeah, this is the X, right? Yeah. So that would be like the negative one. The positive one is the Y value, so where should the positive one go? Up. On the up. Okay, if this is negative one and one, how could we find the radius here? It's the square root of two. Square root of two. Yeah, one, one squared two. plus one squared equals this squared. So you square root. one plus one is two. Remember this triangle? Well, it's negative one squared. Oh, it is squared two. It's okay, what's the question? Yeah. Find sine of, so this is our theta. Uh -huh. Sine of theta. <sighs> we don't really need to know what theta is. Sine, what was the ratios for sine? What was our magic Opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So it's so Sokotoa, right? Yes, you might, this is something you need to have memorized, by the way. If, so if you need to, you might be, that might be the first thing you write down on the test. I don't think I put it as a question on the test. We should. Give you a freebie. Yeah. Look at my own, maybe. Um, anyway, what's the opposite of theta here? Uh, one. What's the hypotenuse? Square root two. Okay. The problem is you can't leave it like that. Most of your calculators, if you plug it in, it'll fix it for you. But basically, you multiply the top and the bottom by square root of two. Square root of two. And square root of two over two. Um, yeah. So that's our first answer. And then the B is set. It also asks for a cosine. Cosine. On A. Adjacent, adjacent well, that's over hypotenuse. So, guess what that's going to turn into? Negative. Negative squared is 0, 2. So, that's the second answer for A. For A? You mean B, right? No, there's two answers for each. Oh, wait. So, it's square 2 or 2 and negative square 2. Yeah, negative square 2 or 2. This is for cosine theta. This is for sine theta. Alright, so on B they drew the line down here. So I can turn it into a triangle if I do that. Uh, where should the, it says negative 1, negative square root of 3. Where should the negative 1 go? Where should the negative one go uh, on my picture? The left um, the center. Center. This is the x value, right? So it's like how far left you go. This is the y value, so that's like how far down you go. 
The radius, this one is always a positive number. Do you guys re recognize this triangle? One square to three? Uh, it's going to be two. Yeah, you can do Pythagorean theorem to figure it out, but yeah, it's going to be a two. Do we need to have that number? Like the triangles? I don't. Would it be two or negative two? I don't. I'm just going to say. Okay, the radius is always positive two. Oh. Or the radius is always positive. Okay, so sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. What's the opposite of theta? Uh, negative square root of three. Negative square root of three. Negative square root of three. What's the uh, hypotenuse? Two. Two. It's two. So that one we can just leave it alone. I think it's two. Matthew, would you? Um, okay. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. What's the adjacent of theta? Uh, negative one. Yeah. What's the hypotenuse? Two. Yeah. What? C is kind of weird. Yeah. We don't discriminate. Why is it like this? Not a triangle, right? Isn't it a line? Um, it is a line. Good job, Josh. Okay. We probably don't really need a picture for this. More like just remember what. You guys remember what sine is based off of? The y. The y value. Um, so what's the y value on this point? Zero. One. Oh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh my gosh. I always mix them up. So it's just going to be a one. That's And what's. <laughs> What's cosine based on zero. the x of oh, zero. zero? You can kind of tell in that picture the angle is 90, right? We know the angle for that one. So you could cheat on this one and plug in sine of 90, cosine of 90. This is the point where you do need your calculator to be in degrees and radians. Yeah, we'll call it good. What is the zero plus 12 equals 18? You go to second setup. What did you say, Josh? Oh, zero plus twelve. Is I think it's. Is, is it today? I don't remember who wrote that. It's because. Do you guys get this? No. Yeah, we're working this one. Zero. Did you just put a belt around your waist? What's zero what? plus twelve? Uh, uh, it's like it's squeezing the zero together. So. I said it's more like that thing that makes the girls oh. kind of skinnier. What's the thing called that makes the girls that they used to wear? Corset. Corset, yeah. This reporter gets up this rapper, she goes, I need to answer for this. Yeah.